Health problems are forcing Billy Joel to cancel the remaining dates of his stadium tour. According to Joel's team, the singer has been diagnosed with normal pressure hydrocephalus. Yeah, so they say he's committed to healing and he's really prioritizing his health right now. Nine News medical expert Dr. Pio Coley is joining us to explain Joel's diagnosis. So let's start with what is NPH. I've never heard of it before today. Yeah, normal pressure hydrocephalus. So our brain and spinal cord have sort of this cushion system around it. That's what's called cerebrospinal fluid. So it's a cushion of fluid around our brain and our spinal cord. And when you have normal pressure hydrocephalus, there's too much fluid. So that fluid is expanded and it causes basically stretch of the balloon that holds the fluid and that balloon puts pressure on the brain and it can cause a lot of significant symptoms. How does this happen? Is this something that just comes out of nowhere? Is this something that's been kind of building for a while? Well, it's interesting. So aging is thought to be a risk factor for this, which is one that we can't really control or predict. And essentially what our brain does all day long is it makes more and more fluid because that fluid doesn't just cushion the brain, it also gives nutrients, it takes away the waste, but then that that fluid is supposed to drain itself out. It's supposed to sort of resorb into the body. When you have NPH, it gets stuck. So think about like a shower drain sort of stuck, that fluid starts to back up. So as we get older, we think, we wonder if there's some dysfunction or inflammation that prevents that drainage system from working properly. If you've had repeated head traumas, some of our football players and such, you could be at higher risk for having NPH. If you've had a bleed in your brain, you've had a prior stroke, these are all things that can disrupt that drainage system that exists in our brain and cause that fluid to accumulate. I mean, fluid on the brain sounds absolutely terrifying. What types of symptoms are we looking at? Yeah, so in medical school, they taught us the three W's, wacky, wobbly, and wet. So wacky means you have some cognitive dysfunction. So you can start to have problems with memory and cognitive function. Wobbly, you start to have gait problems. So you can have a shuffling gait or you can have trouble with your balance. And wet is urinary incontinence. So you start to have problems with urinary bladder control. Those are the sort of three classic symptoms. Now you can imagine this overlaps with a lot of other neurological conditions. Parkinson's, for example, Alzheimer's, for example, starting to have memory problems. It's not clear that that's what this is. And the diagnosis of NPH is actually pretty difficult to make. So that's why some people get diagnosed much later in the course. And with Billy Joel, we don't know which of these symptoms he's having, but certainly they said he's getting physical therapy. So it sounds like he may be having some gait issues from his condition. You said the diagnosis was hard to make. How do you make that diagnosis? Yeah, so usually it's up to patients to sort of come and tell their provider that they're having these symptoms. A lot of times older men especially, they fear talking about urinary incontinence. Totally. And, you know, there's an, a stigma to it, especially if you're having cognitive issues, then that combined with that, you just sort of attribute it to age. But they obviously do a full neurological exam. They do an MRI to look at the size of those balloons. Remember I said the balloons, which are called the ventricles of the brain, are stretched out because there's too much fluid in them. So they do an MRI to look at that. Sometimes they'll do a spinal tap to measure the pressure. So this is different from elevated pressure hydrocephalus. Like if you get meningitis or brain infection, you make a lot of fluid, but the pressure inside the brain is higher. In this case, the pressure is normal. So they do a spinal tap both to check the pressure and also to drain some of that fluid and see if you get better. So it's not just diagnostic, it's a treatment as well because draining that fluid actually relieves the pressure, makes you, your brain feel better and your symptoms get better. We have less than 30 seconds, but I do want to ask you about treatment, prognosis. We're thinking about Billy Joel, who's I know. just here last year, and he's so beloved. Well, one of our uh, favorites. Totally. Yeah. What What does this look like for him? So there's a pill that reduces the amount of fluid. We usually put that on everyone. Sometimes they'll put a shunt in, which is a actually like a, a drain that goes from the brain into your belly. Wow. It keeps draining the fluid. Now, the good news is the prognosis, if you treat it early, is very good. It's, it can right. be largely reversible, a lot of the symptoms. If you wait till later, some of that damage has sort of said and it makes it harder. It doesn't sound like he got a VP shunt, a, a you know, ventricular peritoneal shunt, which is that drain, but hopefully his is a mild case and hopefully he's not having a lot of symptoms. We do wish him the best. Yeah, absolutely. This is definitely something that a lot of people are talking about today. So I'm glad that you can kind of help us break it down because a lot of people heard and they're like, what's going on? So Dr. Coley, thank you.